the Thoughty or Tea podcast. What, what about like the singing aspect of things? How did you get into that? Well, singing, I've always loved ever since I was little. I know that I've always had trouble with loud noises. When we're, sure. Whenever, I don't know, I have to think about all the loud noises I hated. I hated anything that was loud, especially when we had fire drills in school. Oh, I oh hated God, that. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Or the so, spotlights, like the, the lighting for yeah. performances and stuff. So one of the things I did for therapy was listen to opera tapes, and I'd listen to them for uh-huh. three hours straight because I loved the opera. And wow. I think that's when I realized I want to become a singer. I, I told my mom, Mommy, I want to sing. and But no and one ever it. heard. Well, no one actually ever heard me sing because mm-hmm. I was really, really shy. Yeah. So <laughs> no one really heard me sing until I was in high school until because, you know, for pageants, you have to have a talent. So yes, that yeah, was, I do know that, that. So that was the first time my mom actually heard me sing. And I'm still doing it now. I just got accepted into Juilliard for the vocal arts and vocal training. And I'm learning how to become an opera singer. That is absolutely amazing. I I actually, my, um, I have, uh, well, of course I have a grand, a grandmother, but, um, I was, I was quite close to my, to my grandmother. I call her Nana. Um, She's she's at the at the moment she's you know she got she got a diagnosis of Alzheimer's recently yeah. so it's um you know obviously our relationships you know changed I love her and stuff and and you know I go see her and you know I still have that kind of good connection with her but I remember whenever she would like take me to school when I because I I struggled a lot with um getting the bus to school because there were particular people on there harassing me or bullying me and it was very noisy and um very you know sort of difficult for me to handle in the morning so she she'd sometimes she'd take me to school in the car and we'd listen to like uh an an opera singer i can't remember what his name is but i think he's a very famous opera singer um which one I, I, i think i know who it is Go for it. Go, go with some names. I, I I can't remember the actual name because I'm that's not I'm not very good with names. But sh- um, hit me. <laughs> okay, wait. I sorry. I zoned out. Is it a man or a woman? A man. A man. Okay, Andrea Bocelli, the most famous one ever. My grandma Andrea. loves Andrea Bocelli. Yeah, I think in in my head I I'm. I'm the. My thoughts are kind of being muddied, muddied by. I don't know if you have them in the UK, but we have like go compare ads, and there's this guy with this really zigzaggy mustache who always does like adverts, and oh. he does like, "Hey up YouTube, just popping on to say if you have enjoyed this podcast clip so far, why not check out the full episode, which you can find on my YouTube channel on Spotify, Google, Apple, pretty much anywhere that you would want to find it, and if you have enjoyed this." Please make sure to like, uh, drop me a subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me, and drop a comment down below because it really does help with the algorithm. Other than that, you can check out my Instagram, which is in the link tree down below in all of my videos. There's daily blogs, weekly updates on the podcast, and lots of other stuff that you won't find here on YouTube. Hope you've enjoyed this clip, and I'll let you get back to it. Do you have it as well? Wait, no, I'm just thinking of the mustache. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Matt Berry, maybe, maybe, but um, he 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 does sort of commercials in the UK, and they're I I found them really funny, but I think most people <laughs> find them quite annoying. But um, no, he's never annoying. He's <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> but um, operas operas like it's it's something that I've always wanted to go to go see. I haven't I haven't been to an opera house before or anything like that um but i I think there's a really interesting point there because i know that 
a lot of autistic people sort of due to our uh pattern recognition skills due to our um sensory differences we tend to have um some skills like when it comes to like um pitch like understood like having like perfect pitch or noticing yeah. when the pitch isn't very good that's what um, all my teachers said that i had perfect pitch wow i'll have to check do you have any of your like um opera performances online and, um i don't think so i have a lot of videos of me singing the national anthem though and it's all in the opera style it's all on youtube I really need more singing videos of me. I have to tell my mom to record my latest performances. Yeah, yeah. I'd really be cool to, be really cool do, to listen. I do have a lot of performances coming up. I will be singing two songs in Canada, not opera songs. They're more pop and country songs, which is what mm -hmm. they requested of me because everyone in Canada likes country for some reason. Really? And yeah, I don't <laughs> know why, but it's a challenge. I always like a challenge. And then I will be singing in an epic players showcase and I'll be singing a musical theater song. So I got to get those recorded. Definitely, definitely. That's awesome. I, yeah, I knew that you you did your singing, but opera singing is so cool. Like, yeah. it's, you know, you have like um, movie representations of opera singer where they get like the really high pitch note and they like shatter the glass and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, and I have a showcase for school coming up soon. So that will be opera. Cool. Is that for the um, uh, the school that you were mentioning about, like the vocal lessons and stuff? Yes, we have a showcase at the end of April, so I will definitely be singing opera there.